The same thing was happening in El Salvador. In the span of less than a decade, gangs took control of all the country and our society. They evolved into a parallel government, controlling elections and even political parties. Every aspect of the daily life of most people was controlled by the gangs. Murder capital of the world is a tragic title to hold. Getting rid of, what, of that was the bare minimum we had to achieve in order to even start thinking about rebuilding our country. But jumping out of the water when it's already boiling is an almost impossible feat. You are not there yet. And believe me, you don't want to be. We did the unthinkable to cleanse our society. We arrested the terrorists, we, but we have to remove corrupt judges and corrupt attorneys and prosecutors. These corrupt judges, these corrupt judges and prosecutors were setting the, gangs, the gang members free. And it wasn't just the gangs. The corrupt system worked in tandem with the so-called international community, the NGOs, and of course the fake news, just like it happens here in the United States. President Nayib Bukele of El Salvador is actively addressing issues related to gangs and terrorism while advocating for democratic principles to establish law and order. His unconventional methods to cleanse society from criminal elements have garnered support from the public, who are eager to see threats to social stability and safety eliminated. Bakil emphasizes the importance of removing corrupt judges, lawyers, and prosecutors to ensure an impartial judiciary system that upholds justice. His outspoken criticism of corrupt regimes both domestic and international, reflects a commitment to democratic values and challenges oppressive structures. Additionally, Bukili's skepticism towards the international community, NGOs, and misinformation resonates with a public wary of external influences on their nation's internal affairs.